The next section on general laboratory rules is taped for students who missed the lab. Your instructor probably went over this section in person. After you watch this video, you will want to check with your instructor about his or her specific lab policies for appropriate attire, late arrival, etc. The first and most important rule is that you must follow proper safety procedures when you're in the lab. You are responsible for knowing the material that is covered in this video. The next thing is that you should check with your instructor about his or her specific policies regarding shorts, lab aprons, uh, being late for lab, etc. Different instructors have different policies about these items. One rule that all the chem instructors have is that you absolutely must have studied the lab before lab time. You can't come in here and work unprepared. When you study your lab, pay particular attention to any safety issues or chemical disposal issues and any activities that have to be done before lab time, such as a pre-lab. There are some instructors who will not let you do the experiment if you haven't done a pre-lab activity for it. It's important that you're on time for lab. If you're late, you may have missed some important instructions and it's possible that you won't be allowed to do the experiment. Some of your experiments you may do individually and others you might work in a group or with a lab partner. But even if you do work in a group, you should each write up your own lab report for the experiment. Your lab station isn't very big and you don't want to accidentally get chemicals and things onto your backpack or purse or something else. So you should leave all unnecessary materials, anything that you don't absolutely need for the experiment, should be left over at the coat rack and take over here only what you need to do the experiment. In addition to that, you should put away the stools when you start the experiment and at the end of lab. Not only are they a safety hazard uh, for people tripping during the experiment, but the custodians will not clean the floor unless the stools are put away. When you're working in a lab with other people, it's really important that you put things back where they came from so that other people can find them. And at the end of the experiment, when you're putting material back in your lab station, if you don't remember where you got that particular piece of equipment from, there is a list on the inside cupboard door, and this list will tell you what drawer each piece of equipment is supposed to go back in. If you follow that, then other students will know where to find the equipment. The last rules have to do with recording lab data during experiments. The first item is that lab data should be recorded in a permanent fashion in the appropriate location. Permanent fashion means that you need to use pen, non-erasable pen, not pencil, not erasable ballpoint. Appropriate location means that you need to record it in your lab notebook or your lab manual or your lab handout, whatever your instructor is using. It's not copied somewhere else on another piece of paper and then recopied later back into your lab. Now this rule about pen applies only to laboratory data, that is the things that you write down while the experiment is going on. Once the experiment's over, all of your calculations, graphs, and answers to questions can be in pencil. It's only the lab data that has to be permanent, and it has to show if it's been changed. The second item has to do with how you correct a mistake. We all make mistakes. What do you do to correct a mistake, especially since you're going to be using pen? Your handout illustrates these, but I put them up on the chalkboard to uh, also talk about them. The key thing about correcting mistakes is that you want to be able to read both the correction and the original data. And so what you don't want to do is you don't want to scratch out or obliterate the original data or put white out over the top of it. You don't want to write your new data dark on top of the old data. The correct way is to take the mistake, draw a single line through it so that it can still be written, but it's obvious that you don't mean this, and you write the corrected value beside or above or below whatever seems reasonable. This way, uh, the person can read what the correction is, and they can also read what the original data said in case they needed to know that. This is the end of the Lab Safety and Procedures video. If you're watching this video as a makeup for having missed the first lab, you're going to want to check with your instructor about his or her specific policies regarding the lab rule section. 
And also, the first time you do come to lab, you're going to want to note the specific locations of the safety equipment in your room because it may be different from the room in which this video was shot.